If you would like to know how to move to play with the joystick, so please watch my other tutorials. In this part, only the uh, stacking and unstacking mechanic will be covered. On the character, we have one script which is responsible for the stacking and unstacking of the collectibles. The script is just checking, are we entering a trigger area where the drop location is and unstack our collected items and also unlock the area to unlock new items there. So we are here, it's a small script, I will go in details later on it. And the second part is if we are checking if we are colliding with our collectibles, if yes, then, and they are not collected already. So we are stacking them, pushing it to our stick and put it in the hands of our character. So one important thing on the rig is the fast IQ setup. So it's a free tool. Just put it on the bone you would like to move and define how many uh, bones should be affected. Then uh, define or create a target the target is uh, responsible for the movement, so the bones will follow the target. So you can move the target and the bone is following it on runtime. And with this way you can move the hands to the right place where the cubes will be. So what I did is put it on both ends, created two targets and placed it where I would like to have it. Now if we move to our collectible, so it's just a box with a trigger collider. Uh, define the money tag and edit a simple script where we just can mark is it collected or not. After that I just make some duplicates to have a full stack of it. So the drop area has also a big uh, trigger cube and this cube has uh, a script attached and as charge objects we have our object we would like to unlock when the amount is reached and just a do twin animation, a punch animation, uh, some dotted lines and the text mesh pro it shows the amount we need to unlock it. So on the script after we have defined the amount we have unlocked when the amount is reached we just activate our item and the do twin animation is fired automatically. That's it basically. And this script is called from our player script each time we enter the trigger area. So the link to the project will be in the description and I hope it helps you. See you in the next one.